see it barely. Uh, we would go up to the front of the boat, but it's super windy super up windy. there. It's cold today. Yeah, it's chilly. It's typical Northwest yeah. weather. Uh, toward the end of July. Yeah. And we're wearing jeans and hoodies. <laughs> Overcast today. And then out here on the water is a little cooler so, too. Yeah, that's making it worse. So um, it wasn't bad. We, um, we could have driven up from Tacoma because yeah. we're staying out at Joint Base Lewis McCord at their fam camp there. Uh, we could have drove up to Seattle. We chose to come up to the Bainbridge Ferry yeah. and just make a day of it. Drive up here to the ferry, take the ferry all the way across to Seattle. Some of the crew have never been on a ferry, so it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> first, first ferry trip for some. Yeah. And then, uh, so we're going to be Seattle on foot. Yes. But it's going to dock right there downtown, so everything's right there. Yeah. We're going to go to the fish market. We're going to go to, I don't know if we're going to go up in the Space Needle, but we're going to see it all uh, down, yeah. down there. The, I've heard about the, the wall of gum. Yes. So yes. we'll probably see that too. Check that out. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna enjoy this about 45 minute ferry ride. Yeah. And then we'll go explore Seattle. Well, we're at the gum wall in Seattle, yeah. which is, I guess, something that you must see when you come to Seattle. Yeah. It is beautiful and disgusting all at the same time. Yeah. Because um, it's all the different colors, and it smells like gum. It that smells very gum. fruity. It's yeah. really more like a gum corridor, corridor. Yeah. than a gum exactly wall. What it is. But people put little notes. Yeah. They stick them up there. And the date. No. But I, I would not. If I had gum, it. I would put some gum on the wall. <laughs> and then, like on the banisters and rails, they'll put, they'll like string it down to make it look like yeah. it's yeah. gum dripping off. Yeah, it's very cool. So yeah, it's beautiful. Um, we'll show you some more of the gum wall, and then we're gonna go into Pike's Market. Yes. And see him throw very fish. Yeah, <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know what what's so exciting about seeing wall a gum stuck to walls and fish being thrown, but that's. What you do in Seattle, I guess. Well, uh, humans are easily amused. Yeah. At the littlest <laughs> things. So. And we're we're easily amused too. So, <laughs> so we're entertained by gum. Yeah. And we're getting ready to it's go entertain, be entertained by flying fish. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> So behind us right here is the very first Starbucks. Right over here. 1912, I think. Not that we care much, but it's no, cool to see. we're not Starbucks people. Not really Starbucks people, but it's cool to see. Yeah, and, and the line is down the whole block. To go into just the first Starbucks, in. yeah. It's still just Starbucks. I like coffee, but I don't like any coffee enough to wait hours in line. Well, people just want to say that they've had coffee from the very first Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. Not me. We gotta show you this line. It's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. To get a cup of coffee, it's all the way down the street. Your whole day is wasted waiting in line. It's crazy. Yeah, you get the same cup of coffee down the street at a different Starbucks and not wait at all. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What 
think of the uh, Pikes Market and well, Seattle in general. It's nice. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice. Cool. So I think it looks it's, better from a distance. Yeah, it's so crowded. It is crowded. It yeah. looks like that every day. Yeah, the market is packed. Yeah, we don't do crowds. So. No, but there was a lot of stuff to see. Yeah. Like if you were, uh, we could have spent a lot more time in there shopping and stuff. Yeah. Because uh, there's like lots of cool places that we didn't get to go into. Yeah. We just walked past, but it would have been nice to go in and look around and stuff. Yeah. But we didn't really do any of that. Uh, we had lunch over at uh, the Red Robin. Yeah. Yum. Yum. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, the Gum Wall and then the uh, yeah. Pikes Market. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Other than the, uh, the first Starbucks, which is not anything spectacular. <laughs> just because it's the first, first. Starbucks. Yeah. But um, yeah, definitely cool to come visit Seattle. We're coming back on Thursday because we're going to watch a Mariners game. Yeah. But uh, that's just going to be buzz in, see the game yeah, buzz back out. We're not going to yeah. be doing a lot of exploring that day. But it was cool to, to see the views from the ferry. Yeah. A little dab will do you. Yeah. yeah. Just a couple hours in Seattle. We're yeah. all set. We're good to go. We're ready to go back to Bainbridge. So about a 45 minute ferry ride that yeah. way. And then about another hour and a half car ride back down to the uh, Tacoma yeah. area. Yeah. Backwards, less people eat. Way less people eat. <laughs> but it's fun. Well, it was fun. Well, day we're at the zoo. It's always fun to have a zoo day. Yeah. Every I once in a while. I and it's not them. like, uh, you know, we like wildlife refuges too, but there's no guarantee that you'll see animals. Yes. There. At the zoo, there is a guarantee that you will see animals, probably. 100% guarantee. Not guaranteed they'll be doing anything <laughs> of any significance. Case in point, right here. Yeah. Well, that's why we're vlogging over here. Just, since there's no animal, there's no people. Take the opportunity. So, uh, but yeah, this is the uh, Point Defiance <laughs> Zoo, and, Zoo aquarium. and Aquarium. So yeah. they have an aquarium too. And um, I don't know what all kind of animals they got, but uh, we're hanging out here with Mel and Nettie. Yeah. Having a good day. Beautiful weather out. Perfect day for the Gorgeous. zoo. Yeah. And uh, so we're just going to kick around and uh, kill a couple hours. And uh, if we see anything cool, we will show you. Okay. We just saw Ernie. Yeah. Ernie the opossum, the baby opossum. He was cute. He was cute. And he walked over here to the penguins. And I think we I think we walked into a penguin situation. That is not meant to be seen yeah. to the public. Indecent exposure. Yeah. We got some freaky stuff going on here with the penguins. <laughs> Who are we to judge? Yeah. They don't do much. <laughs> Very uneventful penguin. Yeah situation here um, yeah, they're not as active so if you saw we were just talking about Ernie the opossum and you saw him licking yeah. the lady's hand I didn't know but yeah. I wanted to share this that he wasn't trying to find more food yeah he was being territorial yeah he like said, this zookeeper is mine now is my human my human <laughs> she is mine so she got a bath yeah and Ernie claimed his territory she to Ernie. yeah <laughs> But he was really cool to see. He is cool. They're a little not, shy. They're not as cute when they get bigger. No, they're kind of ugly when they but get bigger. But babies are cute. Everything's cute when and there's babies. I know. That's how people get tricked into having more because <laughs> they're so cute when they're little. Try when they're 20. Not so cute. Not so cute. True. We know. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Yeah. <laughs> that whole 13 to 20 is... Yeah. Not... Uh, pretty cool little zoo so far though. Yeah. And uh, lots more to see.
I think aquariums are one of my favorite parts. Yeah. Because everything just looks so smooth and like... They're bold, vibrant. Yeah. Graceful. And just effortless. Yeah. This exhibit is closed. All oh. right. And it was a sea oh, lion. Man. And it's a dead end one too. We just walked down here for nothing. Mm -hmm. Busted you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, there's two different aquariums here. There's a South Pacific uh, aquarium and yep. then there's a Pacific aquarium. Mm -hmm. So whatever creatures are native to those oceans, those regions, yeah. that's what's in there. So it's very cool to see both. Yes, always nice. And there's more stuff to see. Yes, hopefully. We see some more animals. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing that Noah didn't have to get his inventory from this zoo. Because <laughs> this zoo only has one of everything. Yeah. Sometimes zero of a thing. Yeah. It's yeah. almost like if you're half of your animals are not viewable, Should like because it says they're not viewable, yeah. shouldn't be charged a full price. Yeah, I mean, I get it if they're in there and you just can't see, see them, them, but there's just so much that's like closed or... Yeah. And I guess you can't control if animals die or whatever. Or, yeah. But yeah, like you said, give a discount or, you know, something. Yeah, something. Anyway, it's a decent zoo. It is. I'll give it a decent rating. Yeah. <laughs> on a scale from one to ten, like a... Four. Four or five. But they had real some... There are some cool animals there here. Are some cool. And the And the aquarium part... Like I said earlier, it's, I think my it's, favorite. Yeah, it's trumping the actual zoo part. And then just, I mean, the scenery and the landscape of the zoo is very well kept and, yeah. and nice. Yeah, oh, so, it's gorgeous out here. And it's a beautiful day, so. Um, and they have, these animals don't know how lucky they are. Foxes. Yeah. They really want something in that tree. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's worth coming. Yeah. I think. Well, we hope you enjoyed coming along with us to Seattle. Yeah. And to the zoo. Yeah. Both very fun. Uh, we didn't do as much in Seattle as we probably could have. No, and that's because we, we don't like crowds. And yeah. Seattle's crowded. Yeah, we weren't uh, we weren't super close to Seattle. No. It was about an hour drive to Seattle, so really got to go in there for a couple hours and kind of come back. And yeah. So if we'd stayed closer to Seattle, we probably would have done more there. In spurts because it's just so crowded. Very peopley in Seattle. So peopley. Yeah. But we had fun. Yeah. And uh, we'll probably come back to this area sometime. Yeah. It's beautiful out here. It is beautiful. In the summertime. <laughs> yeah, in the summer. I mean, we've never been here in the wintertime, but I'm just assuming um, it's not yeah, great yeah. in the wintertime. It's a good assumption. <laughs> <laughs> but we hope you liked it. We had fun. And yeah. uh, we're off to our next place. Yeah. Back into Thousand Trails. Yes. Save some money. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna recoup a little. Yeah, so that was a it's kind of a spendy little uh, Vaca vacation there for the last yeah. couple of weeks, but um, well uh, worth it. But. Very, very well worth it, and so we're back on track budget wise. Yeah, coming up <laughs> <laughs> and get some of that money back. Yeah, and then we're gonna start getting back to like some of the uh, freer stuff. Yeah, <laughs> the mo free. Yeah, but we have fun, yeah. and like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye. Bye.